I'm now going to leave them here and cross over <laughs> to uh, Kiambu Governor William Kavogo. We are asking tonight, uh, is there a problem with Kavogo's leadership style? Keep talking to us on 22422 and on Twitter using the hashtag. Uh, the big question, do we have any tweets? Not yet. Okay, I'll read some few SMS. Okay, we have the tweets. Let's take a look at the tweets before I take a look at what you'll be saying on 22422. Right, Anthony Meresia says, is Governor Kabogo going to move the county headquarters from Thika to Kiambu? Uh, Nick Bits asked Governor if there is cold war between him and some MPs and MCs in Kiambu County. Uh, Mokaru Jr., does Governor Kabogo know that Ruaka is in Kiambu County? Then why neglect it? I'm sure he knows that. <laughs> He'll be telling us that. Well, thank you so much. Keep texting us on 2242, uh, 22422 on Twitter is the hashtag, uh, the big question. Governor Kabogo, thank you so much for making time for the big question tonight. You've seen some of those SMSs, and I'll go straight to asking you what we are asking tonight. Do you think there's a problem with your leadership style? Uh, uh, I was saying uh, that's kind of a unique question mm -hmm. because uh, I'm not sure anyone would think uh, they would say yeah. that they have a problem with their leadership. Uh -huh. But... Uh, this is uh, a matter that one needs to look at holistically. Right. Uh, leadership of uh, being governor and leadership of being an MP or probably an elected leader in the council yeah. is not one and the same. Mm -hmm. This is a tough job. A tough job that requires tough decisions. Um, you saw Matai Nguyen say the other day, mm -hmm. we have to start making tough decisions. Uh, decisions that are not geared towards making you to be loved yeah because uh, um, you're running a government and uh, like anywhere in the world it's not easy to run a government yeah I'm happy that we've been able so far now to have a fully fledged government mm -hmm. and it's important for Kenyans to know that a county government is a government like any other government right yes Okay, you're talking about some tough decisions uh, that you've been making. I'm going to talk about one, yes. and I'm sure you've had so many people already talking about it. And I'll read a text here. Somebody says, yes, we have a problem with Kavogo. I'll read what he's brought there. Jukama Leysen Zaduka, ilikuwa 3,500. Na sasa ni 5,600. Na tena animal feed, ilikuwa 7,000. Na sasa ni 12,150. Hindi tunafanya. Niwabai, I think he's saying, is from Wangige. Yes. Now, uh, people talking about the high levies rates and licenses that have been there. What, what is your take it's, on that? It's person? an issue, yes. Um, you've seen people demonstrating. You've seen people writing memorandums. Yes. But you will agree with me, Hussein, that there's no country in the world that will be developed by government. Government doesn't have money to do development. Mm -hmm. Government collects money from the public. Do we want change? Do we want development? That's the question. Again, it's important to understand how Kambu is. Uh, our first year, we got uh, from the equitable share 6.5 billion shillings, out of which uh, 4.3 billion is a wage bill, mm -hmm. including uh, uh, O&M 2.2, 6.5. There, gone completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was nothing for development. Yeah. So what we raised ourselves locally yes. is what we use for development, 1.1 billion. So our challenge in the first year was, what are you going to do? We have terrible roads. We have hospitals without medicine. And you need to raise this and money. And you need to raise this money. But, but, uh, so again, you need to understand mm -hmm. that we inherited a complex sort of situation. Eight municipalities, two county councils, all charging different rates mm -hmm. and we are now one county they needed to be unified the problem and what they are saying honorable Kavogo, is not really so much into what you're charging yes but lack of public participation that you, you're uh, not involving the people when you're i making have had the story of public participation is defined by law we advertised in the dailies three dailies mm -hmm. and we did public participation in 12 sub counties if public participation is assumed to mean you must consult everyone and sundry, then it's not going to be possible. We have people bringing memorandums. The executive wing of government did the participation, forwarded the recommendations to the assembly. The assembly went ahead and did their own public participation. Right. 
So really, uh, one, one, one from Kiambu, yes. uh, Honorable Governor, is that this public participation was just done on a single day in town hall meetings. I am saying uh, these meetings have video clips, uh, Hossein. Mm -hmm. They are available on the net. It's important to check. We went to court. We Actually, we are discussing a matter that is before court. And the courts have said, let's hear everything about these things. Because what, did, what was envisaged in law to involve public is public to be involved in decision making. Yes. But if everyone has a different opinion in decision making, mm -hmm. then how many decisions would you be able to but form? But you have seen, you have seen, uh, I'm sure you said actually, you've seen even as early as last week, yes. as, as late as last week, yes. there were demonstrations. Yes. These demonstrations are going You need on. to look at the demonstrations from a, a you know, a holistic uh, approach. Yeah. Who is leading demonstrations? What are the demos saying? Why would Kenyans want to give you demonstrations and bring a memorandum to you? A memorandum that they want you to react to, which we have reacted to. So really, uh, someone has said there, oh. tell us whether there is Cold War. Cold War exists. Between you and... I'm Antony telling you, in, I'm coming to that. in politics, yes. in politics, we don't have permanent friends or permanent, permanent enemies. enemies. I'm, I'm, coming, I'm coming to that. But, but the, the, the thing is, when the presidents are raising concerns about levies yes. and just seeing them on the street, doesn't that bother you as it a government? It bothers me a lot. It bothers me then a why lot. Don't you and do this is why it? they come to the county in a whole hall and say, Governor, we want to talk to you. And I sit there and listen. Like now we are talking about issues of uh, levies moving from 3,500 to 4,000. Imagine a scenario where levies in Royal Town were 4,800. Levies in Limuru Town were 350, the same item. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Do you drop Ruiru and raise uh, uh, um, Limuru? This is something that has been done by a serious technical team. And to solve this problem, what we have done, uh, Hussein, mm. we have had to remove one category uh, uh, and merge uh, uh, the lower category to the next medium category mm -hmm. so that the fees will move from 8,000 to directly to 4,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. But eventually, it will have to grow to match those places that followed the former local authorities' directives, mm -hmm. because Ruiru did follow, and okay. you will see that's why their charges were higher. Okay, but you would agree some still are concerned about this, and I want to play uh, uh, a bite here from uh, some of the residents of Kiambu during a demonstration yes. recently, and and some of the elected leaders what they were saying about uh, the levies that have been charged. Do we have that? Now we are demanding Kabogo at the Ramsha license. Elected leaders uh, in Kiambu. Don't think that is a demonstration that no, we, no we want to Those are yes. the MPs, yes. But you've seen the demonstrations. That is for I sure. have seen in Kiambu yes, County. Yes. Uh, there have been demands from the demonstrators, and uh, fair enough, these are el elected leaders and they are representatives of the people yes, of Kiambu. Yes. And their demands are very clear that. We also they want to remember. Reduced. We also want to remember that mm -hmm. there are many representatives of the people. We have sixty representatives of the people elected at the ward level. Yes, you are talking about three representatives whose main issue is okay. Kaboho yeah. must go. <laughs> we are saying bye bye to uh, you. Uh, they are not raising issues. You are saying fees must come down. What fees are you talking about, Hussein? So, are you saying, Governor Kavogo? In the midst of all this, these are elected leaders representing yes. constituencies. Yes. Are you also saying it is true that they are MCS, they are representing people? But in the midst of all this, and people wanting these uh, levies to come down, you're saying there's I'm no backing I'm not saying there's no backing there's down. No backing I down. have already told you, I did appoint a team, mm -hmm. a technical team, okay. to look at the complaints and the memorandums. And the recommendation they have given me is that the problem is where you're saying between 25 square meters downward, 
pays 4,000 shillings. Between 49 uh, square meters of a shop upwards mm -hmm. pays 8,000 shillings. Yeah. And they have recommended a merger, which I have agreed, and I have told the minister, within uh, the laws, uh, the public finance management, I think section 159, gives the finance executive, that's the minister, mm -hmm. powers to be able to make amendments. Mm -hmm. And also our own act, if you look at section 16, it gives the minister the powers to make changes in any schedule. Mm -hmm. So really, but we are saying Rome was not built in a day, Hussein. Yeah. And countries do not develop by use of government money. Government has no money. If truly the developments we have done in one year, Hussein, mm -hmm. are done by way of 1.1 billion, which is the money we raised. And what did we do as a county? When we realized we can only raise 1.1, we said, is this everything that Kambu could raise? Okay. And we made changes and automated our revenue collection, okay. which has doubled, not right. because of charges that are higher, using the old charges. Mm -hmm. So we go in places. Right, okay. I want to move uh, to the issue now you've been talking about. You've been quoted as saying there's mm. a big problem with development in Kiambu because of uh, the recurrent uh, wage bill. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, you have said most of this is going to salaries and all that. Yes. And uh, it's two years since you are the governor. Yes. Uh, what critics would say yes. that Honorable Kabogo, you've been saying this now for two years. Yes. You are there as a governor. It is up to you to find yes. other alternative means yes, yes. to ensure that this money... You, you need to remember that we are working with the national government towards harmonization of public service. Transition authority did give a circular that you cannot employ. Mm -hmm. And some of us have gone beyond that circular and said, there are people we must employ. For yes. example, nurses. Mm -hmm. For example, specific doctors. For example, technical team in the planning department. Mm -hmm. If you do not have surveyors, if you do not have engineers, then how do you move forward? If you do not have ICT experts, uh -huh. how do you computerize a county? Okay. So we have actually sometimes gone beyond regulations that we've been given and to is, make uh, sure yeah. that we get to go to the next level. That is we are now proud to be the most ICT compliant county in the Republic of Kenya. Uh, a, a, point in, a point in time, uh, in public barazas, yes. which goes against what you're saying, Somebody, yes. some people saying you're applying yes. double standards, yes. and you are making unilateral decisions. Yes. You hold public, held public barazas like in Kino, yes. you can confirm that, yes. in Nachu Ward and Gewa, yes. and told people to yes. produce two graduates yes. so that you can give them... Not two graduates produce the graduates that are within and you idle in society and to join them. our data bank so that in the event we want to find people to employ mm -hmm. we have data so bank of not, students mm -hmm. who have graduated and are Kiambu people. You are not giving them jobs for sale? No, same. we are not giving jobs at all. They are known, they are all over. We have done this exercise. We have a huge data bank. Okay. Remember that we also have people who are retiring from public service, people who we inherited in all the devolved functions, and people who we inherited from right. the former local authorities. Right, right. They are retiring so soon, and very soon okay. we shall we'll be employed. See. We'll, we'll, we'll yes. see more about yes. that. I mean, uh, time will tell, because what we are getting actually mm. is you actually promised them that you're going to give, you actually say, vacancies, you're giving them jobs. Vacancies avail themselves, we will give jobs. Okay, uh, Honorable Kavogo, we know the issue of leadership uh, in Kiambu County. Most of these elected leaders, uh, you would most, say, especially uh, most, uh, members specific. of parliament. Yes, members, members of, of parliament. Par yes. are not with you. Uh, you are a lone ranger. Hussein, you're not Hussein, to them. I am not a lone ranger, and this problem of not being able to do very well with MPs is not unique to Kiambu. We must start studying devolution. What is the problem? Why is it that? look at Naro, look at Mombasa, look at wherever it is. I am not saying I have reason to say that yeah. I cannot work with people. Yes. I have said in public, come guys, let's work. I gave an example on radio yesterday that MPs are going out of their way to go and uh, um, construct uh, 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 health centers. Mm -hmm. uh, health services are devolved functions. You have not consulted the county to find out what is our budget like in terms of availing drugs and personnel to work in these hospitals. So there you are, you have gone and done five or six dispensaries because it costs four million shillings to construct one, mm -hmm. but it costs much more to run a dispensary in right. terms of but personnel, you, yeah. in terms of equipment, mm -hmm. and in terms of uh, 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 fair, fair, uh, yeah. drugs. Fair enough. Yes. Do you still believe uh, for, I mean, for the people of Kiambu, 
and for their lives to be better yeah. it is important that you all work together it is important and that's so where you will find i want to tell you things that we have done and we have records because you cannot fake history you cannot change history we invite mps on all the functions that we have they are saying they invite you for talks together with the senator what we need to do and what you, you, what you would do in this situation mm -hmm. is tell people why don't you produce invitation and what it is did they say the mp because if you have to work with people it doesn't mean that you have to do what people are telling you to do honorable Kavogo, I'm i will tell you one thing mm -hmm. the culture of our society is a culture of goodies Kambu, there are no goodies for anyone if what you, you think mean? if you think i'm giving you an mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. if you think you can walk into kambu and tell me you know i'm a colleague mm -hmm. i need a contract to do abcd contracts are given within the law that is where the problem I, is i am not saying that's the only problem i'm saying that's one issue that this is that's, why you think that, elected leaders are fighting you i'm not only saying that there are many other things mm -hmm. we are the ones on the ground we are the ones doing real development if water is devolved rural roads are devolved health facilities are devolved and we are seen to be working very hard to do these things and to bring development, then uh, you will not be loved by everyone. And if you want to be a loved leader, you have a problem. And most of us do not think about development. We think about the next general election. Look at Kenyans today. You're even saying we're halfway. We are not even yet halfway. Okay. We are thinking about the next, the general, next general election. election. I am thinking about the next generation. You have been told this yes. before. Yes. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask this. I mean, there's no other way to ask it. Mm -hmm. They have called you, and many people in Kiambu, and I'm going to read some SMSs yes, to yes, you as well, yes. as an arrogant person. Well, that's perception. Abrasive that, and arrogant that and is, making electoral decisions. I mean, it's Kabogo's way or the highway. That way. is perception, Hussein. If you look at me one way, you would think I'm a very polite person. But if you are specifically looking at me to give you specific answers, then you may think I'm arrogant because there are certain things you want me to say, I will not be able to say it. For so really, I do not think I'm arrogant. I have been in public service, especially an elected MP. This is my 13th year. I would never have been elected uh, four times, mm -hmm. if really that's the issue. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have not been governor for 13 years. Mm -hmm. I have not held a position where you need to be firm, right. where you will step on people's shoes. They have said some, mm -hmm. uh, most of the time actually you appear abrasive and abusive. Uh, for instance, yes. telling the MPs they are test politicians when they are I have not say told the oh, MPs. Oh, oh, you oh, know, oh, when oh, you oh, generalize, let's, yeah. let's look at it. Some this MPs. Way. Let's get it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you refer to a test tube baby? <laughs> what, did it, you define, what, what did you mean? It is recently a generation away or something. <laughs> we didn't so, have test tube babies in the 60s. This is, this is something that has come after the 60s. So I'm saying you have not been there a long time. Ujakula chumvinyingi. That is not being arrogant. I mean, that is not being arrogant. There is a difference. I could, that, that could be my abuse. way mm. of describing that you are not too old in this game. That doesn't mean, again, if, if you had saying, asked me yeah, earlier, what yeah. did you mean? Is that insulting? I would say I don't insult people. I would describe. But I like have just said, told you here, like you, you said, cannot fake wisdom. Like you said, it's yes. perception, isn't it? Yes. Now this MP, you yes. may think it's not insulting when you're talking yes. about this, yes. but this MP is may take it as an insult. Uh, if he may, I would insult. say I apologize. If he may take it that way. But if you tell me I am a generation, I'm the analog type, would I think really you're being insulting? I would think you're telling me I, w I was not there during the computer time. Okay, I'm, yes. I'm going to ask uh, two more questions. One, yes. one, of course, again, some of the things you said, and especially about women. You were quoted that uh, time. Women? You want to, yeah. Uh, uh, let's go, uh, you know. Do you want to? Please, you may put me in trouble again. I'm not putting you in trouble. Uh, tell me what I said about <laughs> women or woman or something else. The relationship between uh, married women and women who are not married. You see, there we go. And I'll, you, I'll yeah, stop you there. Yeah. What I said, mm. so that you do not go beyond saying what I didn't say. I said it's important to get married. <laughs> and family values, you get them from that family. One, that wasn't directed to any individual person. Uh, it, you know I'm a politician. I may have been referring to someone, somebody. But I did not specifically say, say you necessary. and you, is, so I'm referring is what, to you. Yes. you. Some things you don't need to be given the book to read. And that is what you they're can, saying as arrogance I'm and being saying, abusive. And, and I am abusive. not abusive. I am saying 
this is what we are told in church and in mosques every day. Uh -huh. Youth, it is the aspirations of every Kenyan to have your child to get married, okay. whether son or daughter. Okay. And I've been asking in public forums, are you told in church that you should get married? Are you told in uh, mosques that you must marry? Okay, I'll leave it at that. I'll so leave it at that. I, I want to ask a question to I'll, you. I'll leave it Do, at that. Would you like to be married at some point if you're not? That's, I, the, that's okay. the point. I'll leave it at that for yes. now. Uh, what, uh, talk to me about uh, the issue of you moving the headquarters from Kiambu Town uh, to Thika. This was, first of all, this is some, something that the people of Kiambu decided. Kiambu Town. I was in was a the meeting. Center. I you was in there. a meeting that decided that. Why did you decide to move it to? I did not decide. You listen to what people say. Mm -hmm. This is where you say where, where, someone is arrogant. Okay. We have a situation here. New government system has come, mm -hmm. and there is no room anywhere to work in. We have two options. We have an assembly that has 60 people. The only place available is the Kiambu County Council offices. So we negotiated with the assembly. You occupy this space as we occupy thicker and renovate the former municipal council offices, right. which we have renovated now. Which and indeed. half the government is now working from the renovated premises. In Kiambu Town. In Kiambu Town. But the so the issue of offices yes. is no longer an issue. It's no longer an issue. It's no an longer issue, an issue. But was an issue, Honorable Kavogo. It was an issue. It, uh, it's, it's, let's it's look at it this way, Hussein. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, but let's let me, look let at me, it in a minute. Let me ask this question first. Let me push just one more. Okay. Just one more. We have 1.1 billion shillings for development. Mm -hmm. Do you put 250 million in doing an office, or do you first deal with very tangible requirements of drugs in hospitals? When you tell me that people, my people, are going to thicker for service, it means you don't understand devolution. I haven't seen a true kind of man come to, uh, 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 or, or um, Baringo man come to State House looking for President Kenyatta. Right. Because he has an office in every village. Mm -hmm. and Levies and charges are paid at the sub county level, they're not paid at the headquarters. Fair but enough. suffice to say, right. for problem solving issues, Purposes. we have compressed <laughs> 10 ministers working on 1,000 square feet until we build a new headquarters. Okay, the point was, fair enough what you're saying is very true, yes. but the point was, again, it points to you deciding to do things unilaterally. I have just, I have just told you, uh, Hossein, you didn't listen to me. Mm. I have just told you that we agreed with the assembly. The space that is available now can only handle one wing of government, okay. either the executive or the assembly. Okay. And since there were more and were already in office, we didn't have the chief executives, we didn't have the chief officers, we didn't have the ministers. And we have operated from Thika as our headquarters for the last one and a half years. Okay, Honorable Kavogo, because yes. we, are, we don't really have time. Yes. Uh, sadly, we cannot talk about yes. all issues, but we'll try yes. and bring uh, Honorable Kavogo uh, uh, here again. Somebody here asking, do you really, Governor Kavogo, know what the people of Kiambu want? And uh, Joroge from Kiambu actually says, Kavogo is my governor, but too arrogant to be a leader. The people of Kiambu are too tired to tolerate your poor governance anymore. And uh, so somebody says, uh, his style is like this. In his dispensation, it's talking forever and possibly for his government officials to approve building structures. This is making us lose investment. He is rich and does not care about others. There you go again. From there you go again. The first complaint about the building sector is people do not want to invest in the county because we have no standards. You go to Githurai, you see what is happening. You go to Riru, you see okay. what is happening. Okay. So when we stop these things and say we must have order, you get into trouble one way or the other. When you say build, you get into trouble one way or the other. This is where I said being a governor is not a job to be loved. It's a job <laughs> to make serious decisions, uh, Hussein. Okay, finally we're going to take a look at a clip here.
is the new MP uh, in Kiambu constituency. Yes, not Kiambu, Kabete. Kabete, yeah, yes. I mean, Kiambu yes. County. He's yes. a new MP in Kiambu yes. County. Yes. Um, probably has nothing to do with you, but people already touting him yes. uh, to run for the governorship position. Does that, does that worry you? Uh, why would I be worried, Hussein? I have faced elections time and over again. This will be the fifth one. I've done four. So why would I be worried? Elections are so far. And this is the thing I've been saying, mm -hmm. time in memorial, that let's not think about elections. So are you, that means you're... I will you're, tell you one thing. You still vie for the same position in 2017? I may vie for may the same position or go up. Or go up. Yes. Okay. You never know. But I'm saying... That's the presidency. Uh, uh, let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> I have room for another term. Okay. But if you ask me and push me, mm -hmm. I will tell you, I do not know who will be governor, but I know who will not be governor. What do you mean by you that? You said you will invite me here again. You're going to explain We it. have many other things to talk about. <laughs> You're going to explain I, I that. will explain You already myself. know who's not going to be governor. I, I am telling you, when we did elections in uh, uh, 2013, you had uh, Mashmua, the deputy president, say, I know, I do not know who will be president. But I know who, but will, I know be who will not be. He must uh, have had a good reason. will not be governor, according to you? Uh, you're pushing me now. So will he or will I, he not? I don't think he you will be. You don't think I, he'll I be don't governor? I don't think he will be. Okay. You know, to be governor, uh, um, uh, Hossein, there are certain things that you need to have. Okay. Right? Yeah. There are certain things that you need to do proud to be governor. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, there are many things that people will say between now and then. But if we are, inshallah, if we are around, yeah. uh, I will leave to prove that, that I know what I'm talking you're about. You're telling us. Okay. Yes. And, 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 and we fake many things in life. You can't fake wisdom. You can't fake uh, uh, um, history. Are we together? So, okay. you, I, I don't want to go deep into, deep into answer, many things. Yeah, answer this but I'm right. saying I have no time right now to think about the next, next election. election. If I think about the next mm -hmm. election, mm -hmm. I may find myself in the list of shame. Mm -hmm. Because Francis. I may start looking for ways of being corrupt to finance uh, uh, an election uh, process. Yeah. Okay, finally, uh, Francis, so, yeah, Francis from Kino, you don't yes. want to talk about this, but he's your constituent. Francis from Kino actually says, this is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. And Waititu, Dodawa Sasa. Yes. Okay, I don't know what you have to say about that. And finally, critics looking at that clip there, mm. critics already were saying, and uh, the president seemed to have endorsed Waititu. What would you think? I would not say so. The president was shocked by what Waititu said. He said on the podium, mm. on, the, on his vehicle, who you want to anataka kiti ya huko Nairobi asalimiane. But then he said what? Nitakuja kukua governor. So I, it would be wrong for me to say the president endorsed him. Yeah. Uh, because uh, from what he said in Nairobi the day before yesterday uh, about uh, respecting uh, leaders that are in place today and from what the deputy president said yesterday in Thika that you must respect the leaders who are in place now. There are no elections until then. So wait for 2017. If you want to be governor, please come. It is not going to be a walk in the park. I right. can tell you that for a fact. Right. Uh, Governor William... And that's what you would say it's arrogance, I'm saying. <laughs> Truly, I mean, it's there. They would say it's not yeah. me. Yeah. It's what people are saying. But thank you so much for making time for the question, Honorable William uh, Kavogo, Governor Kiambu County. Keep taking, texting us on double two four double two. Is there a problem with Governor Kavogo's leadership style? And on Twitter, using the hashtag, the big question. We'll be right back after this break.